welcome back to Kenny Beauty. So today, I can't believe I'm saying this, but I got the new Morphe. Yes, Morphe. <laughs> Morphe has been on my not hit, but rhymes with hit list. Um, but I've always really, really loved the Jaclyn Hill palettes. I liked the first one. I liked the second one. So I just figured, you know, I had to get her, you guys. I had to. It just looks so pretty and basic B. Like, just basic. I don't know. She always does so well with her more free collabs. Well, there was that one, the vault. Those were not good. And some of, you know, well, we're not going to get into that. But, like, the palettes. Like, I always really, really love the palettes. So I figured we would do a look today. We'll do some swatches. Do a review, see how this palette unfolds. If you guys are new here, make sure you are subscribed to my channel, tap the bell, so you can be notified of all the new makeup videos, because we do a lot of makeup here at Kenny Beauty, and it's a fun time. And yeah, let's get right into this palette. Okay, so another reason, I'm not going to lie, that I decided to pick up only $18. Um, but here we have the Morphe Jaclyn Hill Divine Neutrals palette. Again, it retails for $18. It says, Morphe and Jaclyn Hill, a revealing palette of covetable neutrals in six velvety matte and six gilded shimmer finishes. From wearable to wowable, this palette features Jaclyn's signature eyeshadow formula and is crafted for 30% more color impact. The finishes are mattes, satin, and shimmers. The shade names are Chic Happens, which is a pale pink, All Luxe, a dusty rose shimmer, just Barely, a dark, dusty rose. Birthday Suit, a bronze shimmer. Good Vibes, a light mahogany. Drippin, a gold shimmer. Boo Bear, eggplant brown. Risque Business, a dark brown shimmer. Booked, a chestnut brown. Strip Tease, a medium brown shimmer. Cinnamon Roll, a dark brown. And Exposed, a dark brown shimmer. All right, you guys, so that is it. There's 12 pan sizes. They look like they're the itch, an inch, it says. Um, 0 0.50 ounces, 14.3 grams, or $18. I don't know, I feel like you can't go wrong. Plus, it looks like a neutral lover's dream. So let's just put our Morphe feelings aside for one second because, you know, I have them. I definitely have them. Um, and let's see what this palette is all about. Let's go create a look and play with this palette. Okay, so I think first up, I'm going to go in with this shade right here called Good Vibes. And I'm just going um, along the crease with my Nabla N205 brush. I did prime my, ba my eyes with the P. Louise base which I believe Morphe now sells on their website. I don't know if it's like all the shades, but I do know they sell some of the shades on their website. I'm just jabbing that shade, sort of layering it to give the outer corner some dimension and then I'm just pulling it up towards the center of the brow. There we go. I have to say like I like that the mattes are sort of like they're not too pigmented. Um, you can definitely get a diffused look with them. It does get a little bit patchy though, like when you layer it on towards the outer corner. But as long as you have a good brush, you should be fine. Like it's not horrible. I'm not noticing that much of a that much of a problem. All right, I think I'm gonna go in with um, booked just to give it a little bit more depth. Right in that crease area. All 
right, not bad, Morphe, not bad at all. Okay, I'm gonna go in with the other side on here. It is the um, E54 Medium Sweeper, and I'm just going in with this shade, All Lux, the shimmer shades. And I'm just putting that on the inner corner of the eye. And now I'm going to go in with this shade right here called Risky Business towards like the middle of the eye. Okay, so I do like notice a little bit of patchiness with the mattes and the shimmers, but I feel like when you use a wet brush, it goes on a little bit smoother. Nothing that lashes can't, you know, disguise. Alright, so now I'm going to go underneath of the eye, and I'm just going to go in with this um, booked shade right here, just because the good vibes really didn't show up very well. So, I'm going to go ahead and go in with the booked shade. I'm just taking that same Sigma brush. And I'm just going right underneath the eye with that. And I'm just going to pat it to like just a little bit on top of the shimmer shade up here. Try to smooth things out a little bit. And now I'm going back in with Risky Business right here, that sort of copperish brown shimmer shade. And I'm going right over top of Booked. Alright you guys, so I think this is it. I'm just going to clean everything up, put some lashes on, and we will be back for our final thoughts on this palette. Alright you guys, so this is it. This is our final look, and I'm actually liking this palette more than I expected to. I know, it's crazy. I never thought I would say this. Don't get me wrong, it's not my favorite neutral palette in the whole world. But for $18, I just feel like you can't go wrong. There was some muscle that I had to put into making the shimmers and the mattes sort of blend out. Actually, the mattes were okay in the end. The only thing that I would say is use a wet brush. Use a very wet brush when applying the shimmers, and then they look so good. I don't know if you guys can tell, but one side, the, the other side I did without applying the shadows dry first. I used just the wetness and it was so much better. It's blended like a dream, looked beautiful. So overall, I think this is a good, like if you want something cheap, you know, because even like BH and some of the more affordable brands, you're still paying like over $18 for a palette. I do really think that this is good. <clears throat> you can wear it to work. You can wear it to whatever. It looks really, it looks really beautiful, and you can also vamp it up. There's enough dark enough shades. She has that risky business shimmer shade, so like you can do a little bit of a vamped up neutral look with this palette. I think it's the perfect size, the perfect price. 
I really do enjoy it more than I thought I was going to. I haven't tried out Morphe palettes in a while, so I kind of wanted to test the waters and try one out. And like I said before, I've always been happy with the Jaclyn palettes. So I figured if I was going to try Morphe again, I would do it with something that I feel like I know would probably be somewhat okay. Um, Jaclyn did say, I think on like a tweet or maybe it was a Instagram something or no, I think it was a video, something about like not working. She didn't think she was going to partner with Morphe again. And then I guess at the last minute she decided to because the palette was only $18. And I do really like this. I, I do. I like it more than I thought I was going to like it. So if you want something cheap that you can just like rough around, you know, not have to worry about messing it up, throw in your purse, who cares if it, you know, it gets a little bit beat up. For $18, you can definitely do that with this palette, and it works pretty good. The only thing I would say is, like I said, use a wet brush. Apply the shadows as wet as you can, the shimmer shades at least, and it makes a world of difference. All right, you guys. I, yeah, I can't believe I'm liking a Morphe palette, but I am. I mean, like I said, I'm not over the moon about it. It's not like... I will never use another neutral palette. No, I mean, but I do feel like I would reach for this and it's easy to pack if you just want something with just a natural neutral look that's also going to look really beautiful. I really do recommend this. So, I mean, again, $18. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you're subscribed, you comment, you like this video. Let me know what your thoughts are. I know, I know, I never thought I would be reviewing Morphe palette again. Never in a million years. But, you know, from time to time I'll make an exception. Even for brands that I really just... It's always good to give brands second chances. I'm glad I did. I, I do like this palette. So, if you're a basic B and you just want something neutral and cheap that's gonna work, again, that you can beat up, yeah. So anyways, that is it for our review on this palette. As always, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in my next video.